Hey, Delta, what is a barrier island? A barrier island is a constantly changing deposit of sand that forms parallel to a coastline. They usually occur in chains, consisting of anything from a few islands to more than a dozen. Well, I got something a little different for you today. We're not on the Delta, but we are close. We're uh, five miles or so south where the Mobile Bay opens up into the Gulf of Mexico. And it's uh, on a Cedar Point Pier here on Dolphin Island. And we're actually fishing for redfish tonight. So we'll see if we can get some. Dolphin Island is a barrier island located three miles south of the mouth of Mobile Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. The town of Dolphin Island offers an authentic taste of the beautiful Gulf Coast. It is a quaint, small southern town with a strong marine culture, an eclectic mix of locally owned shops and galleries, and laid back restaurants that serve delicious locally harvested seafood. You'll also find miles of uncrowded, pristine beaches, excellent fishing, and a historic, storied past. Dolphin Island has been designated as the sunset capital of Alabama. You haven't lived until you've experienced the approaching dusk of day from any point on the island. Just a short drive off I-10, between Biloxi and Mobile, the island welcomes you with views from a three-mile-long high-rise bridge. This pristine barrier island has long been a beloved destination for visitors and residents alike. Some 1,300 permanent residents inhabit the 14-mile-long island, which is only one and three-quarter miles wide at its widest point. Yeah, this is a complete separation from what I normally do, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm going to show you the setup that we've got right now. And <laughs> this is very relaxed. And luckily, I'm here with my brother, and he's got all the equipment for this. So all I had to do was show up. Here, I'll show you what we got going. That's our setup. His chair. His fishing cart. <laughs> my chair and that's our two rods there and that's where we're fishing y'all A very popular and active fishing spot, Cedar Point Pier has long been a favorite of both local Alabama residents and visitors. It has long been considered the welcome mat to Dolphin Island because of its location on Alabama 193 just north of the bridge to Dolphin Island. Cedar Point Pier, first built in the 1950s, was owned by the McRae family from 1986 to 2021. It was purchased by Mobile County in December 2021 using a $2.1 million Gulf of Mexico Energy Security Act grant provided by the Governor's Office. Ah, the noble red drum. Originally thought of as a trash fish, it later went on to become a culinary sensation and today is one of the most sought after sport fish in America. EatAlabamaSeafood.com, an organization that I've worked with for years as a chef, has a wonderful page that discusses the red drum. Here's some of what it says. You'll hear most locals call this species redfish thanks to its rusty tint, and the black spot on its tail is hard to miss. But the real treasure is on the inside. This cousin of the black drum is a firm, succulent fish with mild, sweet flavor that's ideal for blackening. You see, for the longest time, people didn't eat redfish. It has a good deal of fish oil in it, so to some people, it can taste a little too fishy. But in the 80s, uh, a chef in New Orleans, Chef 
Paul Prudhomme, many people have heard of him, he's world famous. He and his staff came up with a seasoning and cooking technique that they called blackening that allowed you to eat uh, a stronger flavored fish like a redfish and not be overwhelmed by the fish oil. Mainly because you're now being overwhelmed with paprika and cayenne pepper. <laughs> uh, uh, it turned blackened redfish into such a fad in the 80s that what once was an unused bycatch became endangered. Now there are many regulations on redfish to make sure that we do not lose the population that we have native in the Gulf of Mexico. Large expanses of water like lakes, reservoirs, and bays are often windy, so it is important to remember to stash your trash. Eat Alabama Seafood goes on to say, Red Drum is one of the more abundant species in the Gulf, so you're likely to find it on your line any time of year. But the ideal time to hook a few redfish is during the winter months when warm weather fish are in lower numbers. To me, one of the most interesting things about a redfish is that it doesn't actually need to live in salt water to survive. It can survive in fresh or salt water. I know here locally after Hurricane Frederick blew a lot of the Gulf water into freshwater Lake Shelby down in Gulf Shores, Lake Shelby has ever since been a hot spot for redfish. They have had success stocking it in ponds in the Carolinas and Texas as well. Uh, redfish cannot spawn in freshwater, so those lakes must be restocked from time to time if they want to keep the, a healthy population. Redfish only need a specific calcium level to be present in the water, so that's why they can live in fresh water or salt water. Another thing that uh, not only myself but lots of people are intrigued by with redfish is that they have an annual migration through the Gulf of Mexico. According to saltstrong.com, the migration is triggered by colder weather in the fall. Since colder weather arrives at different times throughout the U.S., the migration starts at different times in each region. In the mid-Atlantic region, the spawn typically takes place from September to October, peaking in October. On Florida's east coast, it takes place from October to November, peaking in November. And then along the Gulf Coast, where I live, from t Florida to Texas, it takes place from November to December, typically peaking in late November. This migration route through the Gulf takes the, uh, the redfish right by Cedar Point Pier here at Dolphin Island. So this is a place that many redfish enthusiasts pilgrimage to each October. And that's why we're here today. Just a reminder of why Dolphin Island is called the sunset capital of Alabama. You could come down here and never catch a single thing and it's still worth the trip just for this view. There was this here talking dog like that happens and he was asking you to hit the subscribe and like buttons like everybody don't know to do that already for crying out.